So today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable jar grip opener. Well, not make the opener, but embellish one to make it look, you know, a little bit better than just a little square or circular piece of rubber. I, um, I love these. I love this idea for gifts. Um, you can make a kitchen gift basket with scrubbies in it, a dish towel, these all handmade, and it would be absolutely just a beautiful gift. Um, the other reason I like these is when I have just the rubber, this was actually um, an actual, this came in a pack of four from Amazon, a jar opener. And I swear they would disappear. I think my family would throw them away. And now they won't. So that's why I like it. I also like sometimes to put like a little hook, like a little loop on it so you can hang these on a hook so they're easy to grab. Um, but I'm going to show you how I made mine and hopefully explain it in a way you could understand, but they're really easy, super quick to make. And if you have some leftover cotton, you don't need a lot. Um, for this one, I used the Cotton Kings, 100% cotton yarn. Um, this is a size three and I hardly used any like this. This is a... Uh, 50 gram ball and honestly this is what I made with it and there's hardly any gone. Um, this I think I used a big twist. I did not enjoy doing it in the round. Um, it was a little bit harder, just a little bit more time consuming and a little bit more, a little bit, excuse me, a little difficult because you want to make sure you go in enough that you're not right at the edge because these can just pull right out because this this rubber can just rip so i found squares are easier and then i found a really economical way to do it um i purchased this grip excel it's contact brand but you can get this in all different brands i, I believe the dollar tree might sell these and this is used as a drawer or a shelf liner um and this works perfectly, especially if you're cutting them into squares. They have the holes and the holes are perfect size. And to be perfectly honest, this gives me more grip than the one that was made for it. So I highly recommend using the shelf liner and it's called the grip shelf liner. This is just the contact one, but you can look. This one was 18 inches by eight feet. No, yeah, so it's 12 square feet. And I forget what I paid for this, but it wasn't a lot and you can get a whole lot of these out of here. All right, so let's start. What you're gonna need is a roll of these or just a sheet or whatever, a tape measure, um, a longer pair of scissors, not like one of the short ones that we use, um, a pen, and that's pretty much what you're gonna use to cut it. Now I made these squares six by six and I think that's a perfect size. You can make it as big or as small as you like. I don't think you want to go any smaller than this um, because then it, you know, you won't have as much grip. So six by six is what I made. And what I do, let me zoom you in. Okay, I always use one of the straight edges. So we'll use one of these. Um, okay. As you can see these little dots everywhere I measure and make sure I draw just take my pen and just go in between the dots and I use that as a gauge when I cut it and it comes out perfectly straight so let's measure I'm gonna do six across it's okay if you're a little over and I always go just a little over so I try and line it up you see right here it's the dot so I put the zero right there and I'm gonna put a little Oops, a little mark at the zero. And we're gonna go over to the six. Okay, and then up six. 
and it, this lines up really well with dots right there. And I think I'm just going to go, instead of, <clears throat> if you see here, it's kind of like on the line, I'm going to go up. So it's a little bit bigger than six, but not really. And you'll see why. Because we're actually going to cross, crochet into the this one, the second one down because this is where we're gonna cut. So we need one whole one and then crochet into that. So it'll be a little smaller. But So this is what I do. And you don't have to do it all the way up. I do do this one over a little bit just so I know when to stop. Okay. And then we just cut. right in between. So then you're just using these holes as your even line. And I knew to go up there, and then I'll go this way. And it makes it so easy. There's my square. And you could do, like me, this barely used any. You can make so many of these. And if you do markets, these would be a great thing to sell at markets, I think. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick a different color. I have a great bag full of yarn. And I, let's see, I think I'm gonna do this really pretty soft blue. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna do this green because it's more of a contrast. So this is another Cotton Kings. And I love these because they have the center pull tab. So the first thing we're gonna do is attach the yarn going all the way around and what, how I do it is I do single crochets and I skip. So I'm going to show you what I mean and where I go in. So first I'm going to start by putting a slip knot on my hook. Okay, and then I am going to I'm not going to start right there because right here I just I, I guess you could but I just feel like this can rip very easily so I go in down here so I skip one full hole and I go into the next one and I'm not going to go in right here I'm going to go in right here okay so go over one and pull up a loop and I'm just going to do a single crochet okay and that's how you're going to join it all right so that's how we join and now oh, this is got a little splitty we're going to chain two and I'm going to skip a hole right there and I'm going to go into this next hole and do a single crochet Okay, and I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to skip a hole and go into the next one, and do a single crochet, and I'm just going to do this all the way down. Now, there's other ways you can join, but I do it this way because this is part of my border. So, I like this border, I like this look. Um, this is cute, but 
it's a little too ruffly for me, but it is an option. You could do any border you want, but I'm going to show you how I made this one. I really like this one. I think it's, it's perfect. It's not too big, not too small. It adds just enough. It's clean. Um, so I really like it. So that's why I'm joining it like this. It's kind of part of my whole border. So one more time, we're going to chain two. I'm just going to pick up it's splitty yarn. So I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to skip a hole and go into the next one with a single crochet. And just do it gently. Take your time. Enjoy the process. We're going to skip and go into the next hole. Okay, and we're going to do this all the way down. Chain two skip a hole, go into the next single crochet, chain two. And you just stop, wait for me when you get to, okay, so right here, you're gonna have, get to the third to last hole, right here. And then, I'll, all right, I have, if you look here, push this over, I have four holes left, okay? So I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to go into the third to the last because I just chained two and do a single crochet. Okay, now I'm going to chain two. Now I'm not going to go into this last one that's on the edge. Okay. If you look over here, Okay, I skipped one and I started there, right? So, I even though we normally skip, because this is a corner, I'm not gonna skip. I'm just gonna go into this very next one. So I'm just coming out of this one and I'm gonna go into this very next one and I'm never gonna work into the ones on the very end, okay? So, when I go into this one, I'm gonna do a single crochet, chain two, and then I'm gonna put another single crochet right into that same one. That's my corner. So, we already did the chain two, so I'm gonna go in, do a single crochet, chain two, and I'm gonna do a single crochet in that same hole. Voila corner made. And then we're going to keep going with our pattern. Of, we're going to skip this hole and we're going to go into the next one. Well, first we have to chain two. Chain two. Skip this hole, go into the next as a single crochet. Now, you just keep doing this pattern. Chain two, skip a hole, go into the next hole. Chain two. Skip a hole, go into the next with a single crochet. Chain two. And you're just gonna keep doing this all the way down and meet me at the end like you did before. All right, let's show you one more corner. Again, I finished up with four holes remaining. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna skip this hole. I'm gonna do a single crochet, chain two, and then single crochet into the very next hole, and then chain two, and then single crochet back into that hole. So let's do that. Skip, because I already chained my two. Skip, go into the next single crochet. Chain two, now into the very next hole, do a single crochet, and then chain two and go back into that same hole with a single crochet. There you go, second corner made. And now we're just gonna continue this and then do the corner like we did and then continue and I will meet you back here to show you how we're gonna join to finish. Okay, so I did it all the way to the end where 
because these are worked into, it's hard to see. So this is my last single crochet I just did. And then this would be the one that I don't skip and I go right into because then this one's on the end. So we already have a single crochet in here. So we're gonna go in here where the single crochet already exists and we're gonna do a single crochet, chain two, and then we're going to slip stitch to the top of this single crochet and that's completing this corner. So let's do that. I got a chain two. I'm gonna go in that hole that the first single crochet is coming out of. And I'm gonna single crochet. And then I'm gonna chain two. And then I'm gonna join with a slip stitch right here to the top of that single crochet. And I'm gonna slip stitch. There we go. So, you could leave it just like this. If you wanna make a bunch of these, I mean, in my opinion, this looks adorable. And you don't even have to go on. It's just, it makes this look so much cuter. You could just add a little hoop, like a little loop here if you want, and you could finish. But we're gonna go on to make it a little bit more substantial like this one. Okay, so we're gonna leave, just like we're gonna leave our corner empty right now, okay? And we're gonna work into the next chain two. So we're gonna be working only in the chain two spaces for this round. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to single crochet into that chain two. Okay, then we're gonna jump over to the next chain two and we're gonna do a single crochet, chain one, and then single crochet back into that same chain two space. And the next chain two space, we're just gonna do one single crochet. And then the next one, we're gonna do single crochet, chain one, single crochet. And it just gives these little mini, like, little fans, and it's just, Cute enough in my opinion. So I'll show you a couple more times. Okay, we just did a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So the next chain two space, we're just gonna do one single crochet. The next one we're gonna do a single crochet, chain one, Go back in and do another single crochet. And just continue. So the next chain two, we're gonna do one single crochet. The chain two space after that, we're gonna do a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. It's like a mini V. And then just single crochet. And then the next one, we'll do like a mini V. Single crochet, chain one, and single crochet. So just finish these few more and I'll meet you at the corner and let you know what we're gonna do there. All right, we made it to the corner. This is the first corner. I'll show you how we're gonna do the corners. So I just finished the series. This is a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. And then you have just a single crochet. So in pattern form, we would put single crochet, chain one, single crochet in here, but we're not going to. We're gonna do, do a single crochet, chain one, and then we're gonna do in the corner here, a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one, and then single crochet in here. And it makes a nice corner. So let's show you. Okay, this is the last chain two space between before the corner. I'm gonna do a single crochet. Chain one. And now we're gonna go into the corner. We're gonna do a single crochet. 
chain two and then do a single crochet in that same corner. And now we're going to chain one and in the chain two space right after the corner we're going to do a single crochet. Now it's single crochet and then we did the chain one and that should just because there was an extra chain one and there was single crochet chain one then we did single crochet chain two single crochet chain one single crochet this one it's not going to be a mini V it's not going to be a single crochet chain one single crochet it's just going to be a single crochet because technically this was a half of a mini V right you just did a single crochet actually you did the chain one first because you're coming from this way and then single crochet and when you were coming from this way you did a single crochet chain one and then you did the other single crochet in the corner okay so the next stitch is going to be just a plain single crochet and then do the mini V single crochet chain one single crochet and I don't know why this is not Okay, so we just did a mini V, now we're going to just do a regular single crochet and now a mini V, single crochet, chain one, back in the same stitch, single crochet, next chain two space you do a single crochet, the next chain two space you do single crochet, chain one, single crochet, that's like a mini V and you just continue this until you get to the corner okay so I have two more chain two spaces left I just did a chain one I'm sorry, I just did a um, mini V. I just did a um, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So the next one is just a single crochet. And now this is the last chain two space before the corner. So I'm going to do kind of a half of a mini V. I'm going to do a single crochet, a chain one, but I'm not going to go back in there and do a single crochet. Now I'm going to enter the corner and I'm going to do a single crochet a chain two and then go back in that corner and do a single crochet and then because I want this to be like a half of a V I'm going to do a chain one and then go into this chain two space and do a single crochet and since that's a half of V the next one's going to be just a single crochet because we're going to pretend the other one was a V and now we do another mini V single crochet, chain one, single crochet and you just do the pattern all the way down and you do the corner the same way and I will meet you at the end to show you how we finish and join. Okay we're at the end this is where we began this is the corner okay and this is where we slip stitch to so, and this is where we did the first single crochet of our row. So what I just finished was a mini V single crochet, chain one single crochet, then this is a single crochet, and then we have one more chain two space before the corner, which we're going to do a single crochet, chain one, so it's a half of a mini V, and then in the corner do single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and then we're going to chain one and we're going to slip stitch to this single crochet. Now, if you look here, here's the single crochet, chain two, single crochet. This is the slip stitch. So we're not going to we're not going to join there. We're going to join here. So let's show you. Okay. This is the last chain two space before the corner, so we're going to do like a half of a mini V, chain one. I mean, single crochet, chain one. And now in the in the corner we're going to do single crochet, chain two, 
single crochet and then we're going to chain one and then this is the slip stitch that we made so this is the first single crochet we're going to slip stitch to join okay so since we're directly on the left side of this corner this is where I'm going to start I'm going to slip stitch back into here and then chain okay for how many that's going to go around and then slip stitch in here and then I do slip stitches or single crochet back and then join so let's show you so we're actually going to turn our work for this and we're coming out of this stitch right here If you pull you can see right here so I'm just going to slip stitch to be facing the right way and I'm going to chain one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so chain ten because um, we just want a tiny little hoop and so here's your corner and we went to the right here let's see so we're going to join so this is a, a single crochet in your corner here's your chain two here's your single crochet that chain one space right here remember the chain one that we did and then there's a single crochet here we're going to just slip stitch in there Pull it tight. Now you can just leave that and that's perfectly fine. The back bumps. Here's a back bump. Here's a back bump. This back bump is really hard to say, but it's right here. Okay, I'm going to do a single crochet. Actually, let's just do a slip stitch, make it less bulky in the back bump. Just pull through, pull through, let's see how this looks. Take your time with this. It's a little detail. You don't have to do it, but just take your time because it could look messy if you rush through this. Last little part. Now, where we slip stitch, you can kind of see two bars right there. I don't know if you can see them. I'm just going to go under those two. You don't have to. You can just slip stitch to the top of whatever. I'm trying really hard to make it not split. Pull it. Uh, just a little. That's okay. All right. And we have a cute little. I'm going to cut the yarn. Pull. And I'm going to pull really tight. And then we are going to weave in our ends. Now, if you remember in the beginning, you can see because we went down two holes you can see it kind of bunched up here that's totally fine that is nothing compared to doing these and then having it rip so that's the that's the wrong side the right side you can't even see that see so that's that to me is worth having it solid so Let's just weave in. This is where we started it all. And 
since it's coming out, see how it's coming out? I'm going to go back, but I'm going to skip this bar. And I'm just going to go under this bar and kind of weave my way to the corner. And then go through these. And then I'm going to skip this bar and go back under all the others. I'm going to do it one more time, skipping this bar and going under the others. And that locks it in really well. I'm just going to tug it and snip. Okay, then we're going to weave in this one. This I'm just going to go down and pick up these loops straight down. So you see, there we go. And that just pulls this down nicely right there. And then I'm going to go not up where I just came. I'm just going to go over a little bit to these going up. Okay, and that brings me to the bars going up and down that in the corner that I could just go through. And I'm going to go back one more time, skipping the first bar. And that's it. I'm going to just snip it off. And that's it. You have, I think, a very custom, adorable jar opener helper thingy. And like I said, you can make an adorable set and then you can make dishcloths to match, scrubbies, you just name it. It's it's endless what you can do. And I think I'm going to do a whole series and then make a gift basket at the end. Um, I think things like this are so nice. Now we happen to have like a welcome, um, a town, I'm not sure what it is. When people buy new houses, they know or when they move in, whether they're renting or not. Um, and they they send, they give like a welcome package. And I'm going to donate these to that because when we first moved here, we got one and I just thought it was really special and it makes you feel really good. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this little project. I hope you'll try one. If you do, post a picture on my Facebook group. I'd love to see it. If you haven't subscribed and you like everything crochet, please subscribe so you can get some of these tutorials, some yarn talk, see what my finished projects are. All right, everybody, I hope you guys are doing great, and I'll see you in my next video.